Hello everyone, uh, this is Suksu speaking and I'm going to be presenting to you a little game that I've made with a couple friends. Um, that's me over there, I was the uh, main responsible person for the project and then there's Alexi and Samuli. Uh, Alexi was working on some uh, maps and, and some level objects and uh, Samuli was uh, responsible for the music as well as most of the sound effects. Uh, Alexi also contributed to the sound effects. Um, let's see, I'll turn down the volume so you can hear me better maybe. And uh, what we got is a really family friendly uh, puzzle oriented um, destruction game. Destruction sounds maybe too bad, uh, so I'll show you around. Um, we got Implosion Iggy giving you work, and uh, what he does is he uh, demolishes buildings. Uh, the game is called Implosion Inc. And you got a variety of uh, bombs at your disposal. You got directional ones uh, that you can turn uh, to choose the optimal direction. You got a rocket, you got some steel beams that you could put to the level um, to protect things or elevate things. Um, for example, here we will use a fire bomb and that will set uh, wooden things on fire. And then we got pushing bombs. And we would have also had uh, dynamites which um, are shattering. So they shatter things into smaller pieces. Metal objects are usually hard to shatter, so I will just use pushing bombs here. Uh, what we want to do is uh, level down the building as low as possible. In this level we actually have two buildings, but it's considered just one entity. So uh, we got a timeline that you can set bombs to, but I will just use a simple solution here. So here we go, uh, there we go little shrapnels of glass and the wooden things on fire and once the time is up uh, we got a red pole coming down that will check the solution and the lower you get the more points you get but the more bombs you use the less uh, or actually the more uh, points you will pay for them so you will want to minimize the amount of bombs and and maximize the or actually <laughs> get the pole as low as possible because it's linearly uh, increasing in score the lower you get the building to. Uh, we got some advanced levels. Oh, there we got uh, Trevor Roll giving you a mission. He gives some more um, advanced levels. And um, for example, in this case, we got an irreplaceable Ming vase that Trevor Roll has left here. Uh, so um, you don't want to use two. Uh, explosive bombs because you will just end up uh, breaking the Ming vase and get minus 5,000 points for that. So that's not really something you that you should aim for. So instead we will use a more advanced one, advanced solution and what we will do is we will set the ceiling on fire with a fire bomb. The fire will spread to the ceiling and then we will use a, or actually we will, we will use two directional bombs that have a pushing uh, effect in proportion to their optimal uh, direction, in this case upwards. And we set the time so that first the fire will spread and then the directional bombs will um, push things. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, was that the bug? What happened? I might have uh, done something funky there. Let's see. They are supposed to explode quite much later. Hmm, that's fine. Well, anyway, it's only a prototype, so there might be actually bugs still involved. So what happened now is the Ming base was untouched, which is good, of course. And hopefully we will get three stars. No, we didn't. We only got two stars. So I gotta work on my solution there still. Well, you got the idea anyway. Uh, we got five different levels. I'll still turn down the uh, music volume a little bit, even though uh, Samuel has made some lovely music, but I don't have uh, two advanced video editing tools, so I might not be able to lower that volume later on. Uh, so let's see, um, we eat in each level, or actually each world, you got a theme, we got caves, surrounded levels, we got happy hills, uh, very lovely uh, friendly hills, uh, we got mountains, midnight levels and then the basic bomba landing. 
Uh, for example, uh, something from Happy Hills. We got Sinkhole. Um, again, Trevor Roll giving you a nasty assignment. Uh, here, you don't want to use too much force again because you got two neighboring buildings, uh, you and you are not allowed to damage those, or you will get massive minus points. Like in this case, I got minus thirteen thousand uh, points, almost minus 14,000 which basically means that I'm not going to pass this level uh, instead what I should go for here is trying to put the building down this sh uh, sinkhole here and how I can do that is I will first set the wooden um, door on fire then I will put a pushing bomb that will push uh, make a gap here that will push things downwards and maybe I will, to make sure everything goes smoothly down, I will place a couple of pushing uh, directional um, pushing bombs to the sides and some dynamites to help things shrapnel into smaller pieces, maybe a little before the directional bombs. Uh, and maybe a uh, dynamite still here. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm, I'm the main responsible for the game, so I should be able to uh, get optimal solutions. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, I failed there. Let's see again. Um, as you can see, there's. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I played this game, and um, I still need to work on my honing my skills. And. Uh, like this, maybe two directional bombs was too much. Uh, maybe this is better. Look at the lovely sun there. I've gone for some uh, Japanese kawaii style, maybe they're cute. Uh, what we aim for was um, family friendly, casual indie thing. Uh, none of us are professional game developers. Okay, there we go. I failed again. Um, I've uh, done some stuff with Unity before. But uh, this was the first Unity game for Alexi and Somali. Well, I got the basics done here, but still failed to do it. I might have to try some uh, retries, but I will just skip that now. Um, uh, and why am I shooting this video? Um, just to share some f to some friends, I guess. Um, and I might be sharing this outside of just immediate friends and family and stuff uh, to motivate others working with uh, Unity. Uh, it's really a great free uh, engine. Uh, the pro pro version isn't free, but you can really get going and, and, and start using your creati creativity um, if you are maybe interested uh, in creating games like I am. Um, so what we got here is a skiing resort and um, now we will have to use some more advanced bombs these are called the sucker bombs and what I am going to try to do is grab these metal girders and drag them upwards and then once they are high enough I will try and push them aside with the pushing bombs because these um, orange Poles are static level objects. They will not uh, stop the green, um, the red pole from coming down. So what I will have to do is try bring these metal girders to the side for an optimal solution. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Almost. Well, you got you got the idea on the left side. This girder was caught here, so this is not going to yield me three stars. Not maybe not even one. Because I used some uh, costly bombs, yeah. But I should have brought this girder down and I would have got three stars basically. Um, and what I would want from you, dear listener, is maybe feedback, or hopefully feedback. And um, if you want a copy, do send me email, uh, especially if I know you personally. Um, just approach me through some means and uh, we got 20 levels I might be working on this project in the future right now I've been rather unmotivated but who knows um, 
Yeah, so um, it's a little Unity project, indie type of thing, nothing too serious, core, casual, uh, family friendly. Uh, what I would love is to have a professional artist because uh, most of the graphics are drawn by me. I like the overall style, going for a kind of cartoonish approach, but it's not professional. So if you are a starving artist and you, well, I don't know if this is going to ever be published as a serious project, but who knows. Um, do um, approach me through YouTube or forums or, or whatever you feel like best. Um, if you got ideas for objects, if you got ideas for levels, that's always welcome. Uh, if you got some tips on using Unity, that's also welcome. It's a um, 2D orthographic game, but, but Unity is 3D, so kind of wasting potential there, but, but I just like Unity and working with it, so maybe this will even encourage you to create some stuff on Unity. Who knows? That would be really great. If you do do feel inspired by this video, do comment. And um, especially if you got ideas for for um, for example the smoke here, it's a standard asset. I really need to work on that. Um, what kind of filters to use for the brick, for example here, it's not too shabby. Mm. What kind of different materials there could be in the game? Right now there's some uh, stuff that is harder to break, such as metal, and then there are uh, things that will um, break into smaller pieces, mm, such as brick and wood. Um, I might be going, I might be creating new bombs to the game. Um, I need to rework on the GUI, and uh, well, this is the first prototype, so. Uh, still long way to go uh, but still I'm happy that it's quite playable and, and and I like it and from from the feedback for example from my godson seems like <laughs> it has some potential to be a fun game so uh, I guess I'll stop here and um, just show you the magnificent three stars I'm going to get for this ah, well Let's imagine it's three stars, just to make me feel good at my own game. Well, um, thanks for watching and your time, and um, I don't know what to say. So I guess I'll just say bye-bye and hope to hear from you. Bye.